there! Hi, I'm Nurse Giselle and welcome back to my channel! Hi again! Hello! Welcome to the evaluation station. So you got 8 minutes to finish this station. Okay. Alright? This is the evaluation scenario. And here are the rest of your papers from Assessment, Planning, Implementation Stations. Okay. okay. And this is the blue pen that you're going to use in this scenario. Okay. Good, Good luck. luck. And your timer starts now. This video is solely for demonstration purposes as interpreted by the actor based on her understanding of the specific skill with reference to the Royal Marston Manual of Clinical Nursing Procedure, 10th edition. All information presented are public domain materials accessible through the relevant governing organization's websites. Several similitude may be noticeable, however, this is not intended to be definitive guide to the NMC Part 2 Test of Competence or the OSCE examination. This can be a helpful material for overseas or internationally trained nurses to learn and adapt to the UK clinical settings and transition effectively into practice. From the OSCE TOC 2021, the evaluation station has become a verbally assessed station. You will be given the time to write, but you will be verbally assessed. You will have to do the verbal handover. The verbal assessment is also within that 8 minutes. So just a tip for you nurses out there who's about to take their OSCE exam anytime soon, please do not consume your time writing, but instead, have a structure and organize your thoughts. Um, let's just say, uh, have a good 3-4 to four minutes um, just chatting down and organizing your um, those uh, important uh, things that you need to uh, verbalize later on. And then a good 4 minutes to do the verbal handover all right all right guys in this station you will be given a blue pen but don't worry this will be provided by the exam centers okay this will be provided for you by the examiner okay just take a look at the screen right here this is an example of an evaluation um, scenario to those of you who are new here in my channel I don't know if you know but I did an assessment and a planning regarding the same patient which is Robin Good right here who's having a chronic heart failure so I'm just about to continue the evaluation regarding the CHF okay that's all right if you don't know about this patient then head on to my nurse nasal playlist in which you can view the video of assessment planning implementation regarding this the same patient So the good thing about the evaluation station is that all your documents will be given back to you. All the documents that you had from the assessment, planning, implementation, and now the recent one is the evaluation. Another good thing is that since all the paperwork are with you, then all the information that you need to verbally hand over is just right in front of you. All you have to do is yes. Read. That's my number one rule. You have to read. So the question here is that, what information do you have to hand over? What information do you need to mention? I recommend that you organize your thoughts. You organize those things or information that you have to hand over, okay? And nurses, please do uh, always remember that you have to follow the marking criteria. Again, like I always say, marking criteria is the Bible in passing your OSCE exam. And nurses, all of this is the marking criteria. So all of this will be checked, okay? It should be ticked. You need to mention all of this. All of this all of the information that corresponds to this marking criteria the thing is to so those of you who are watching my videos I always have a structure I'm not saying that it's correct I'm not saying that it, this is the right thing I'm not saying that what I'm doing is correct all I'm saying that this is just my take 
okay if i will be going to the exam i would use this structure which i made uh, in order for me to pass the OSCE exam because i can see that the marking criteria right here is a lot to remember so i have made this structure so here in the uk ladies and gentlemen we are following the s bar when we are handing over again what is s bar situation background assessment and then recommendation so nurses this is now the structure that i made in order for me to pass the oski exam in terms of the situation i only remember the word who who are you you are the nurse handing over the patient who who are you talking to another who is that that is your patient details. I also included where because you need to state where you are right now. In this example, we are in the cardiology ward. Can I just add there, as part of the situation, is the reason for handing over the patient. Okay? Are we clear on that? Short as that. Okay? For the background, ladies and gentlemen, this is now the reason for admission, the present complaints, past medical history, the patient allergies and reaction, also, social history only if the social history is relevant to the situation because sometimes it's not so you don't need to verbalize all of them. And a little bit of the initial assessment, the information from the previous assessment or the initial assessment during the assessment station, okay? Initial assessment. You can mention some of it if the patient is scoring, the new scoring there or any anomalies from the observation or the vital signs that you have done. So again, from the initial assessment, this includes the observation, the new score, the GCS, if you've done GCS, uh, 6 CIT, what else, neuro observation, and also the mass scoring or MUST and the PHQ-9 if you have done one. So anything from the assessment, you have to mention here, okay? Initial assessment details. Yeah, so let's focus on the assessment. This is now the current situation or scenario, okay, of the patient. This will include the most current observations, which is, by the way, is included in your evaluation paper. I will show it later on. You have to mention here the nursing or the medical needs of the patient, any areas of concerns, and what did you do. That's the biggest impact here. The nursing and the medical needs of the patient, the uh, area of concern, and the point in which what did you do from the assessment planning and implementation what did you do to the patient now for the recommendation ladies and gentlemen just remember again nurses from the word itself okay what do you recommend or in my own structure what do you want the person that you're handing over to to do okay if i will be the examiner then the, my question is what do you want me to do this is now your recommendation now that I have revealed to you the S bar that I commonly use this way, in accordance to the marking criteria, by the way, which I can easily remember or follow, shall we give it a try then? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Okay, so we've come now to the most favorite part of this video, which is the simulation. Hi again. Hello. Welcome to the evaluation station. So you got eight minutes to finish this station. Okay. All right. This is the evaluation scenario. And here are the rest of your papers from assessment, planning, implementation stations. Okay. Right. And this is the blue pen that you're going to use in this scenario. Okay. Thank Good luck. You. Your timer starts now. So first, I need to read the scenario, which is right here, here, and then here. And then, I have to take down notes for good 3 minutes or 4 minutes.
Miss Examiner, I'm ready to do the handover. Okay. You may start now. Okay. Hi, I'm Nurse Giselle, and I'm going to hand over a patient. Who am I speaking to? Dr. Gray. Uh, hi, Dr. Gray. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you. So I'm just going to hand over this patient. Okay. His name is Robin Good. Um, date of birth is 1st of the 2nd, 1956. Hospital number is N111-T22. The address is 123A Ellenborough Avenue, NR317HA. And I'm calling from the cardiology ward. So the reason why I'm handing over this patient, I'm going to get the assessment. The reason why I'm handing over this patient is because Robin has now become increasingly breathless and has now have an increased swollen ankles. Plus the new score at the moment is 6 and I'm afraid it's gonna still go up. Regarding the patient's background, the presenting complaint is Robin has been admitted to the hospital and he has now become increasingly breathless at home with an increase in swollen ankles. He had an emergency appointment with a GP today due to his breathing difficulties. His GP gave him diuretics and arranged ambulance to the a &E. He walks unaided, but he is finding it more difficult due to fatigue and breathlessness. So as a result of this, he occasionally requires the use of the Zimmer frame. So during his initial consultation, Robin mentioned concern that he is dying. Past medical history of the patient, hypertension since 2009, angina 2008, and myocardial infarction 2011. Social history, what I can gather is that he is a smoker. 10 sticks per day and has smoked for the past 30 years. He also drinks two cans of beers in a day about twice a week and sometimes even more. Drug history of the patient. The patient is taken by Sofralol, Freeruzimide, and Paracetamol as required. So he's got allergies to penicillin and the reaction is rushes. So during the initial assessment, the patient was increasingly uh, breathless. Uh, and also the RR that time or respiratory rate that time is 26 uh, breaths per minute. So he's got a new score of 2. He's complaining of chest pain with a numerical pain score of 5 out of 10. And he's also got a very swollen ankle. Right. Now for the assessment. I'm going to get now the evaluation scenario. So for the current assessment, I'm going to do it A, B, C, D, E. Airway of the patient is clear, breathing, the respiratory rate now is 23 breaths per minute. Uh, he's now on oxygen. His oxygen saturation is 94% and he is on 2 liters of oxygen via nasal cannula. Circulation, the pulse rate of the patient is now gone up, 92 breaths per minute. And the blood pressure is 180 over 90 millimeters mercury. The capillary refill is within 2 seconds. Urine output of the patient, he has peed 600 meals uh, for the past 6 hours. Disability, he is alert and complains of no pain. When it comes to exposure, he's got a temperature of 36.4 but he's really got a swollen legs. So his new overall new score now is 6. Okay, for Robin's um, nursing or medical needs area of concerns, um, since his new score is 6, I have monitored him every 15 minutes, a minimum of one hourly. He is becoming increasingly breathless, so I have encouraged the patient to uh, to an upright position to facilitate or promote breathing. Also, I have administered prescribed medication and monitor its effectiveness. I have promoted deep breathing exercises to enhance the lung expansion of the patient. Since he is a smoker, I have educated him regarding the harmful effects of smoking and educated him regarding the uh, smoking cessation which is available in here in our trust. Okay, um, uh, when it comes to his swollen ankles, by the way, I have elevated his uh, both of his extremities to decrease swelling. I have taken some basis for the swelling to know if the inflammation is increasing or decreasing. And I have encouraged Robin to elevate legs to decrease the swelling at the same time. I have administered some pain relief as well because he was complaining of pain a while ago. And that was during the implementation station. So I have uh, administered the prescribed diuretics and cardiac medication at the same time which is by Soprolol um, and um, when it comes to diuretics he is prescribed with furosemide. I have started input and output uh, to make sure that we are um, noting his fluid intake and output so I have started his fluid chart I have educated him about the disease condition and the need for drug compliance to prevent complication so um for my recommendation also, doctor, if you could just please review the patient immediately and please revise the antibiotic prescription as the patient was prescribed with amoxicillin and but the patient is allergic. So he, at the moment, he has no chest pain. So if ever 
he's gonna have chest pain again I would consider ECG or CT scan or echocardiogram if need be um, if the chest uh, pain persists so I would also start or send some blood samples for blood markers such as drop eye to rule out the cardiac problems that being said if you could just please write a request for the said scan and blood test do you want me to by the way refer the patient to the cardiology team to manage this um, we'll just do it okay also doctor is there anything you want me to do while waiting for you um, no I think you've done enough already okay thank you. all right thank you so much doctor Alright, thank you. Thank you. So how did you find it? Was it easy? No? Yes? So, I know it's quite a lot, isn't it? Just remember this one and you'll have this structure right here or just memorize the marking criteria. It's up to you. It will help you answer all the questions or it will help you determine what to say during the exam. Also, I don't know if you have noticed, I've been through the assessment, planning implementation, and evaluation chart. So once I am speaking, I'm just reading all the information because it's just provided in front of me anyway. So I could use it. So please, on your exam, utilize all these things from the API. These are all your documentation. Like I said, you don't need to memorize anything. You only need to have a structure right there for you to be able to be guided on what to say or what to hand over to the examiner. I hope you learned something for today and if you like this video, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so I'd be more inspired to make more OSCE videos like this. Also, if you want to get notified just in case I post more videos, then hit the notification bell right over there. The family is now growing guys so please do subscribe to my channel and comment down below what other videos would you want me to do next, okay? And if you're about to take your OSCE exam anytime soon, good luck! More power to you and please just practice because like I always say, practice is the key to passing your OSCE exam. This has been Nurse Cell. See you on the next one. Bye!